So, I know that American Horror Story has been on the air for over a decade now. It is a simultaneously really good show and really bad show. And can these things coexist at the same time? No. So what is it mostly? Is it mostly a great show? Is it mostly a bad show? Let's find out. So I don't think anyone's going to argue with you when you say that the best season of American Horror Story are the first three. This show starts off with a bang, and it's really, really good. Uh, Murder House, I think, is probably the most impactful for me particularly. I think they set up the rules of the universe really well. I think the character development in this season is really well. I think that the characters are despicable, and because of that, there's something really intriguing and interesting and fun about it. Uh, it has probably one of the best horror episodes in the entire series where there's the home invasion. I think that's probably one of the most affecting hours of TV that I've just seen. And it's good. It's really, really good. And it's dirty, and it's messy, and it's violent, and it, it's all these things I don't normally like in a TV show, to be frank. But it's done really well in the first season ha has the right balance between intrigue and camp and f like it's good it's just really good television and it really set the series up for being hey this season this show is going to be something to pay attention to this show is going to be something to watch this show is something interesting and engaging and fun and just filled with this i don't know this whole viscous sense of just tr dread and terror and horror like this is this the first season is the most horrific so i would say that american horror story season one started off on the right foot really really interesting really intense really good and let's see where it goes from here asylum some people think asylum is better than murder house some people think asylum is worse than murder house I think Asylum is... I think it's better. I think Asylum is better than Murder House. Uh, I think Murder House is more effective in its storytelling. I feel like Asylum is a little bit more nebulous. It's a little bit more uh, light. It's not as interesting, but it has some really, really cool moments. Uh, everyone remembers the name game song because it's just brilliantly done. Everyone remembers the whole... Like, there's, there's a lot of storylines in this season that go really, really well. And there's a lot of pieces of it that are just really cool and interesting and, like, high camp, high fun. Um, some storylines in it are weaker. Like, the whole, what, the Anne Frank part? That's not great. But <laughs> there's a lot that works really well, as well. So, keeping that in mind, uh, I really like Asylum. I think it did really well. I would put it a little bit above Murder House, and yeah, overall I think that that's probably a good place to start. Definitely a worthy successor to Murder House, but, you know, there's still some parts here. Uh, Coven. Coven is interesting, because it's the first time the series isn't just, like, horror. It's the first time the series dives into something more, something different, something more, you know something a little less horrific and a little bit more engaging. It kind of dives more into camp. It dives more into silliness. Uh, there's a bit more levity to Coven. And it's my favorite season of American Horror Story. Uh, I like the storyline between the witches. I like... They're, they're, it's just good. It's well done. It's a lot of fun. It's interesting. It's engaging. It's cool. I like the story, the relationships that happen. I think that, I can't remember how to say her name, T Tiza? Like, I think she makes an excellent protagonist. She did an excellent job in Murder House. She does an excellent job here. She's good. She's really, really good. So, overall, I would say American Horror Story Coven is my favorite season. Not just because Stevie Nicks is there and she's a witch. Uh, I also love, I, I, God, I love Lily Rabe. Lily Rabe or Lily Rabbit? I don't know. But uh, I think she's so good. She's such an underrated actress and probably one of the few in the series who's carried on for a long time but just not broken through for some reason. And she deserves so much more. But her performance of Misty Day is just perfect. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, Freak Show. 
is divisive for me. I think that it's it's still a well done season. I think it's still interesting. I think it's still engaging, but I have to say I'm not as much a fan of it as I am the other seasons. Uh, it, it's still good. It, it's still, you know what, I'm going to be a bit more generous to it. It's still good. It's still solid. It's still highly watchable. Uh, the, the quality doesn't dive off a cliff. So overall, I would say it's still pretty good. Uh, Hotel. Well, Lady Gaga's in it, so obviously it's going to get a few points there. But it is, uh, it was a weaker season. Like, it was a, a very much a, a slightly more soft season, shall we say. Uh, the whole story with vampires doesn't really make sense. The hotel where people can't leave doesn't really make sense. It's, uh, it's, it's complex, right? There's a lot to like in hotel. There's a lot to be enjoyed in hotel. Uh, the acting's great. The acting's always great most of the, well, most of the time. Uh, but you know, it's not the best. Lady Gaga is surprisingly effective. She's very well cast, and she does a great job as the Countess. But there's just something lacking in the whole season overall. Like, the whole I, the whole serial killer twist idea doesn't really work because you can see it coming from a mile away. The, it's, it's a lot. It's just a lot. Uh, okay, now we're getting into my Roanoke Nightmare. I like what they tried to do with this season. I really do. I think that there was something really interesting about having a reality TV show format as like the basis of this and then expanding it from there and then being like, oh, this house is mysterious. Let's like look at it from different angles as different T how would different TV shows tackle this? And so for the first three or four episodes, it's really good and really cool and really effective. And then they switch the format up and they're just like, oh, now it's going to be like a real life thing. And they're all the actors and the people who were here are all going to be thrown back into the house for an extended period of time. And then we're also going to have an episode about like ghost chasers and it, it just doesn't work. It becomes very messy. If they had just kept the whole mockumentary format for the whole season, I think it would have been better. But whenever American Horror Story experiments with this die, uh, I don't know if you know how to die narrative where there's two different narratives that unfold over the same season where there's like one story over here and then one story over here. Most predominantly double feature, which I'll get to in a second. But whenever they do this, it always just kind of tanks because you get like a one part is always going to be stronger than the other. And this is something that they do through with every season. There's always like main storyline, B storyline. So with these seasons where it's they essentially just divide the season into main storyline and storyline A and then storyline B is B C's. It doesn't really work. There's always going to be a, a crush or a fluster that happens because it's never fully explored and it's never actively done well. So we're going to get more into this in a second. Uh, American Horror Story Cult. Uh, I put it on the same level as Hotel. Uh, acting, obviously fantastic. Uh, what can you say? It's... it's I don't even know what to say about it anymore. Apocalypse is terrible. This is where the the die narrative gets even more blown out of proportion, and you get suddenly you have the one storyline about the kids, and then the witches, and then also murder house, and then also like they try to do, and then it all ends with time travel, and it's so bad. Like it could have been great. It could have been great, and it wasn't. I hate that it wasn't. It's such a good idea. Like, let's let's weave the story. Like, nothing's more scary than the apocalypse. Like, I think everybody fears what they say happens in this. Everybody fears that. Like, it's perfect narrative fodder. But there's nothing there to, like, stitch it all together. You don't have that narrative drive through the whole thing where you're just like, yes, make it, give me more. And this is just, it's bland. It's not well done. It's messy. It's, it's silly. I don't like it. 1984... I like parts of it. I really do. I think there's some parts of 1984 that work really, really well. Uh, the whole summer camp vibe works. You know what? I'm going to be extra generous, and I'm going to put it right behind Cult, which is higher than a lot of other people do. Uh, but overall, it just wasn't great. It's not interesting anymore. Uh, 
the horror movie twist doesn't really land. It's it's fine. It's a good homage. It's a nice idea, but it feels more like a caricature of what this used to be. No, no, it deserves to be. I will put it above Roanoke Nightmare, though. Uh, double feature, is it better than Apocalypse? No. The reason why is I have a major issue with this season because the whole idea that like your creativity is a black pill that you take and that makes you super successful, but then also turns you into a vampire, but then also a storyline about aliens in 1950s America while also being in modern day America and gets four teenagers, both male and female pregnant. And like, it's not, it's, it's messy. It's, it's bizarre. It's this die narrative structure taken to an extreme. It's just not good. It wasn't good. I don't like it. It could have been good. It could have been interesting, but it's neither interesting nor good. And as such, it's just, it's gross. It's silly. It's not fun. It's boring and silly and dumb and no one likes it. Anyways, I'm just, I'm beating a dead horse at this point, but American Horror Stories could be one of the worst things I've ever seen. Um, there was a scene from Rabbit Rabbit, which I think is the third episode, because they do the Back to the Murder House episode, and then they do one called Rabbit Rabbit, and it's just bad, and it actually has a special effect at the end where a trailer's blowing up, and it's the worst special effects I have ever seen. It's so badly done. I actually had to rewind it because I was laughing so hard when I watched it the first time. And it's, if you get the chance to watch it, it's this little gem of awful, but hilarious awful in a way that's so impossible to explain otherwise. It's so bad. It's so bad. <sighs> so, overall, do I like American Horror Story? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But it's it's a show that probably should have ended after five, six, maybe. But, like, it's definitely not what it was. I can't imagine it getting back to the realm of prestige TV. Now it's just silly schlock. But that's how I feel. Maybe you're different. I'm curious to know if I got anything wrong here. So if you feel like I did, you let me know. Until next time, enjoy. Thank you for watching. My name is Maddie McLean. You can find me on problematic streaming platform Spotify at a Canadian in Eurovision. You can find me online on Twitter and Instagram at the Big Shabam. And finally, if you like what you've seen here and you want to help me out, feel free to like, subscribe. It really does help. And also, if you want to see me do something next, don't be afraid to tell me. Looking forward to hearing from you all soon, and you have a great day now.